Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. Very glad you're here. Today we're gonna jump right in. Let's do some work. And today's topic is release your expectations, be present. So release your expectations and be present. We're gonna jump right into everything that I wrote down when I was initially collecting my thoughts and just journaling. And this is the topic that came to me at that moment to talk about, but as I leave the gym right now, usually I'll go and write and then I'll come back. And right before I do anything, I'll get in my car after I'm done journaling where everything's clear, the message is very coherent and concise and <laughs> not necessarily concise, right? Sometimes I run on here, but um, that's usually when I do my videos. Today I wrote and just for whatever reason, I was like, I need to get to the gym. I need to just work out and do my thing and then I'll do the video after. So we're gonna talk about what I wrote down, but the first thing that comes to mind that I wanna remind you of and share with you is you've got to do it, especially when you don't wanna do it. Whatever it, quote unquote, is. What is it for you? Is it going to the gym? Is it eating healthy? Is it abstaining from alcohol and saying no to your friends when you got uh, invited out again and you said you weren't gonna do it? So whatever it, you've got to do it, the difficult thing, and especially when you don't wanna do it, when you are able to overcome yourself in that moment of I don't wanna do it, that is growth, that is major growth. And the more that you choose to overcome yourself in those moments and you overcome that little voice that says no, 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 and you listen to your higher self that says, yes, 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 do this. The more you listen to that higher voice, that higher side of you, <clears throat> the easier it becomes, the stronger you become, the more you evolve, this is growth, this is changing. So it's in those moments, these tiny moments of decision that you are transforming, that you're changing, that you're growing. It's in the moment of the decision in which it's most difficult in which you grow the most. I think it's funny, I was uh, listening to something the other day, just some random YouTube video uh, about on Alan, or Alan Watts was um, sharing, I, I mean, he's just amazing, right? Incredible philosopher of our time. Uh, if you don't know about Alan Watts, please just look up stuff and you know start listening to him. And then initially it might be like crazy and way over your head. Some of the stuff he talks about is still like, what's going on, what? Okay, let me rewind. But anyways, he talks about, he's like, I think it's so funny, we spend so much time planning only to make a snap decision in the moment. And if you think about it, it's hilarious because that's what we do. We spend all this time planning, but you only make the decision in a moment, in a snap millisecond, you say, okay, yes, okay, no, or whatever the decision is. You know, okay, turn right, no, turn left, okay, okay, hotter, no, we need it colder. It's so funny, we do all this research and planning only to make that decision in a split instance. And so, reminder to you is to do the thing you don't wanna do, especially when it's most difficult, and understand that that is a moment of, of choice that you have, decision that's you exercising your personal power when you choose to honor your word and do what is best for you, regardless of, you know, oh man, I know I said I was gonna eat healthier, I wasn't gonna eat out this week, but oh my God, I got invited out to go out to dinner, or this new, new guy I'm seeing, or this girl wants to go out to dinner, I just started dating. It's like, nah, you said you're gonna cook. You said you're not gonna eat out. So anyways, do the thing when it's most difficult, it, whatever it is. So that was one thing I wanted to talk about as I got out of the gym, I thought I was supposed to share with you. And then the second thing is about releasing your expectations about being present. And expectations are so funny. Expectations have so many layers to them. We expect so much of ourselves and so much of others, but it's really just unnecessary and let me be clear, please don't take this out of context. I'm not saying you don't have standards. I'm not saying you don't have an intention for what you wanna create and you operate a certain standard. What I'm saying is that you release your attachment to the outcome of what it's supposed to look like or how it's supposed to look during the process. Releasing your expectations of anything is absolute freedom and allows you to be fully present. And when you're fully present, you can make the best decision in each moment. You can do what's best for you. And that is free of the burden, of the pressure that you would put on yourself or the situation or the other people involved by having expectations. So think about it like this way. You're gonna, um, you know, 
you set an intention, you operate at a standard, but if your expectations are such and you're so rigid, you're not allowing the magic of the universe to work its work in conjunction with you because you're saying that it can only happen in this certain way at this certain time in this certain instance with these certain people it's so restrictive you're limiting yourself your higher self the universe so much your spirit guides you've got to release the expectations and what it's going to look like in the end and even the process and just trust and let go and allow it to go with the flow and and know that by you releasing your expectations your attachment to the outcome you're opening up the opportunity for miracles for divine timing for amazing things and synchronicities to happen because now it's kind of like oh um you know i am a simple analogy right? i'm running a a race against everyone else we all start equally okay having expectations and attachments to what it's supposed to look like is like starting the race just like everybody else but your attachments are pigeonholing you so it's like you've got you're running it barefoot and you're running it with one foot for the first half of the marathon and you're holding one leg behind your back and you can only have one eye open and you have to only be looking up to the left. Like it sounds ridiculous, but that's really what we do when we have these expectations. It can only happen like this. So you gotta, <laughs> you gotta do it in this weird way rather than just allowing yourself to be free and allowing the flow and the universe and the things to happen that the way they are meant to happen and trust that that is best for you however it looks whatever the process looks like, and that the outcome may not be what you initially had intended. It may be greater, it may be less, you don't know. But the point is, when you operate from a place of detachment with no expectations or attachment to the outcome, you're allowing the magic of the universe, the flow to happen, you're allowing freedom in your life, and more importantly, you're not putting so much pressure on yourself or other people and yes, of course, when we're called to operate under pressure, we can operate uh, and be great under pressure, but why if we don't have to? I mean, you can operate in a way that's free, that's easy, that's a flow. And I know a lot of us, we're programmed, that's a bunch of BS. You gotta grind your ass into the ground seven days a week, burn both candles, uh, you know, burn the candle at both ends, yada yada, hustle till I die, all that crap. That's just brainwashing. It doesn't have to be like that. It's supposed to be easy. It's supposed to be flow. It's supposed to be relaxing. It's supposed to be enjoyable. That's what all this stuff is about. Life, life is supposed to be enjoyable. It's just about us allowing that to come about in an easy manner. We like to make things difficult because again, our mind and our programming is like, no, it has to be hard. It has to be difficult. If I don't struggle, it's not worth it. And there is some truth to that, right? That anything worth having there is some challenges and some difficulty, but it doesn't mean it has to be a fight all the way. It doesn't mean that it can't come to you easily, effortlessly, in a more beautiful, simplistic way, and that the outcome couldn't be even greater than you had initially intended. So, some things I wrote down. So expectations are the best way to ruin any experience. If you expect positive, look at it like this. If you expect a positive outcome from a situation and you get it, you may not appreciate it as much because you already expected that. You're like, yeah, I expected that. So it takes away some of the gratitude or the opportunity for gratitude that you could have in the moment because you already expected it. You're like, yeah, it's supposed to happen that way. That's how I knew it would happen. It was fine, whatever. And you just brush it off, but you're not allowing yourself to be grateful that it actually did happen that way, that you did put all this energy into creating this wonderful outcome. So if you have a positive expectation or if you expect to um, have positive expectations, and you get it, you may not appreciate it as much because you expected it to happen. Now, if you have positive expectations and you don't get it, well, what happens? Sure, that's never happened. You've never had expectations because you've never been what? Disappointed. You know, I'm sure you've never been disappointed in your life, right? Me neither, never disappointed. But disappointments only come when we have certain expectations, when we're pigeonholing the experience with the people, uh, the places, whatever, how it's supposed to look. If we release ourselves to the attachment to the outcome, we're allowing ourselves to be present and enjoy it for what it is. And when we enjoy it for what it is and we're fully present, the lessons, the insights we're supposed to gain become more clear because you're not caught up in the emotion of disappointment or uh, whatever. You're just present. You're here. And you know this. This is what it's about. It's about being present. I'm talking to myself here. Got to breathe, slow myself down. Slow myself down. Breathe, slow down, because it is, it's all about presence, right? 
So be present, set an intention, but release your expect your expectations. Your expectations, aka your attachment to the outcome. It's the same thing. Your attachment to the outcome is the same thing as having an expectation. It can only look like this. It can only be like this. Don't limit yourself. This comes brings into play the sixth spiritual law of success. The sixth spiritual law of success is the law of detachment, which states the law of detachment is the way to acquire anything in the universe is to relinquish our attachment to it. Again, bringing up Alan Watts, he talks about uh, the opposite law, or we live in the world of opposites, right? Or duality, transcending duality. That's what we're here for. The more you want something, the more you desire it, the harder it is to get, the more you're pushing it away. The more you release your desire and attachment to it, the easier it flows into your life, right? You think about it like this, you think, um, you know, uh, like gentlemen, if there's a, you know, a girl that you like, or if you're married or whatever, your girlfriend, right? When you first started dating or, or maybe it wasn't like this, right? But we've all been in this situation, man. And when we're like, I really want this guy or this girl to like me. Oh my God. I really like them. Oh my God. I really like them. And you become infatuated. You like kind of lose yourself in this emotion. Then we're not thinking clearly because you want them so badly, but by you wanting them so badly, you start acting all weird. You're not yourself at all. That's creating resistance and pushing him away. It's the same thing with anything in life though. It's not just in those situations. I want this promotion so bad. Oh my God, I deserve it. I want it. I want it. Oh, I want it. I need this. The more you need and want that promotion, when you go in, you're like messing up at work. You're screwing things up. You're self-sabotaging in certain ways or whatever. You're just not acting yourself, doing the things that were already getting you to where you were going, which is what you wanted. Now you're introducing attachment, expectation. That's creating your own resistance. We're trying to do that. We're not trying to do that supposed to come easily naturally we're trying to get in the flow we're not trying to get in the flow we are in the flow we're in the flow of synchronicities of positive happenings that are occurring in your life effortlessly easily and in perfect time that's how we're doing expectations are also comparisons because think about it like this when you have an expectation you're comparing it to the situation that it should have been if your expectation wasn't meant, it's comparison. This is again, ego. We're comparing things. We don't need to compare it. You don't need to have an expectation. You're comparing the experience to what your expectation was of the experience, both good and bad. So if your expectation was met, okay, you might not have this comparison as much, but you still might and be like, oh, that was really good. Oh my God, compared to the last time. How about just experiencing things for the way it is? Again, it comes back to being present, releasing our expectations, allowing ourselves to be in the flow, be present, chill, let this stuff come to us. So it's not to say again, out of context that we are sloppy, that we shouldn't hold ourselves to a high standard. No, set your intention and operate with a standard, high standard, a standard of excellence, but let go of what it'll look like in the end. And even during the process, it's about just going about your business, knowing that you're doing the best job you can and you're being present and your intentions are pure. However it looks or the outcome remains to be seen. It may be greater, maybe worse, but don't put the pressure on yourself. So take the pressure off of yourself in the situation. Let go of the need to control because that's what expectations are. Expectations are the need to control. It needs to look like this. I need to control it. And when you're trying to control something, you're coming from a place of fear. You're not coming from a place of love, of, of authenticity, of confidence, of trust, of faith. Because if you need to control something and you're saying, I'm scared that because if it doesn't look like this, it's going to hurt me. I'm scared. So I have to control. So I expect it to be like this and it better be like this. You're gripping. You're gripping. We all do this. I'm talking to myself here, guys. I'm not like some self-righteous dude. Like I'm just a guy that constantly reflects on this crap in his own life. And I've gained some things that I hope resonate with you. And it sounds like it has from my videos so far because I'm human just like you. I'm going through the same stuff. So I'm just talking to myself here. But you're gripping, quit gripping, <laughs> let go, quit gripping. Your hands are hurting, aren't you? Aren't you tired of just holding on? We need to breathe, we need to chill, we need to let things come to us. We need to allow our, our openness and we need to let go of our need to control our expectations so that we can have this happen in an easy, and beautiful way and i get it it's difficult especially if you've been wounded in the past which you probably have if you're a highly sensitive person which you probably are which is why you're watching this video 
when we, if you're highly sensitive, you're an empath, you feel so deeply. So you're afraid to get hurt because the past, you feel so deeply. It's hurt so bad. So you want to grip and control more because you don't want to be hurt so bad. But true courage and bravery and authenticity is living with an open heart, knowing that it's going to get broken anyways. It's going to get broken anyways. It's up to us to understand and heal that within ourselves and open our hearts again. Do not let your heart close down because that's what really sucks. That's when we fall into these pits, especially as highly sensitive people as empaths and whatnot. So focus on the present and what needs to be done and let go of the rest. Release your expectation. It's cliche, but when you are doing the best you can, you can be at peace with the result because you did the best you could. So whatever happens, happens. You did the best you could. Cliche, but it's so true. So just release, relax, focus on the present, operate with a high level of integrity, a high level, a uh, high standard. But, um, you know, if it doesn't pan out and it's less, whatever, just let it go, learn the lessons and then move on. Uh, but don't put pressure on yourself. That's the main thing. The two quotes I'll leave you with today, very similar quotes, uh, two different people. First one, if you expect nothing from anybody, you're never disappointed. Sylvia Plath. I'm not sure who that is. It's just what I looked up. Uh, second one, very similar. Blessed is he who expects nothing for he shall never be disappointed or she, uh, Alexander Pope. So let go of your expectations. Allow yourself to be present in the moment. Trust if you, you know, all this work you do on yourself about trust, about confidence, about authenticity, about faith, about your intuition, about meditating, connecting with your higher self, your spirit guides, all these things. I always say that learning is in the application. So if you've really learned that and you really practice that, you will not, you'll allow yourself to let go. So let go and just trust, surrender, just be present, see what pops up, see what comes your way. If it's not something that you want, what's the lesson you're supposed to learn? If it is something you want, fantastic. Enjoy it. Be grateful for it. Learn the lesson also there. What was working? What was, how do I do more of what's working? Something to think about. So that's what I got for you guys today. I love you so much and I'll see you on the next video. Peace.